Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy Ape Poncho, back at you again with another video. So the past couple of videos I've been doing, I've been asking you guys if you want me to continue using the format where we take a look at three or four smaller stories that might not make a full length video. And it seems to have had positive feedback. So on top of the normal news video format I'm doing, I'm also going to be sticking to doing this. That way I can make update videos and it will stretch out into a decently length video for you guys to watch. Now I know I've been missing for a couple of days, but that was due to some technical issues. But today, we're back up and running and cases season two will be out later on today so feel free to go and check that out where we're going to be taking a look at a breaking bad inspired murder case so i do have some new stories coming up but first an update on the blackburn drive-by shooting situation so first i just want to say in my last video i did mention that a local resident had told me that the car wash next to the little was overall a dodgy place but i was meant to say it was the tire garage so my apologies for that but going off about the people who run the garage being overall dodgy people it's now believed that the shot who had unfortunately killed the girl could have in fact been for the tire garage like it was first speculated the 19 year old law student now named Aya Hachem apologies if I get a name wrong there was shot as she was going to get groceries for her mother now I did see a lot of people commenting saying that they believed that this was some kind of terror attack and there was an outcry because people were saying because she was a Muslim it was believed that potentially if it had hit her then it could have been a targeted attack and potentially terror related but honestly at this current time I really don't think it was anything terror related and it honestly Honestly, was just down to her being in the wrong place at the wrong time. CCTV footage of the incident has now been circulating online and out of respect for her family I'm not going to show the initial shot being fired but as you can see here this is the vehicle in question driving away from the shooting. Also in my last video I did say that a picture had been circulating of a man who was arrested by police but it later come out that he had nothing to do with this situation but it does look like three males have now gone on to be arrested. The men aged 39, 36 and 33 all from Blackburn were arrested over the past couple of days where it's believed they are still in police custody. Detective Superintendent Andy Cribben from Lancashire's Force Major Investigation Team said we are on with a number of lines of inquiries which include looking at CCTV in the area and we have spoken to a number of key witnesses. Despite that and the arrests this is a live investigation and I'm asking anyone who might know anything about what happened or the circumstances leading up to Aya being senselessly killed to speak to us. Any piece of information, no matter how insignificant it may seem, could prove vital to our investigation. Now again, as I said earlier, I don't believe that the shooting was intended for Aya and what the general consensus of the people who live in Blackburn is and the people that I've spoken to via Instagram and other social medias, it does seem like everyone is saying that two tyre garages have been going back and forth in some kind of turf war, whether that's to do with the tyre garages itself or the people that own it and they have other dealings, I can't say. And again, I just want to say that this is all just alleged. Now, the three men who I was speaking of earlier who got arrested were arrested at Rye Tyres in Copy Nuke and Burnley Road in Blackburn. And upon doing some research about the business, it does seem like they don't have the best reputation. In February of 2014, it was reported that an employee at Rye Tyres was locked in the office and assaulted by the bosses and one of their friends and this case actually went to court and in court it was heard that the victim was hit with a metal roller and had suffered a cut to the back of his head and to this offense brothers Feroz Suleiman and Soyao Suleiman along with Ayaz Hussein had pleaded guilty to assault and were ordered to do 550 hours of community service between them and had to pay around £150 in compensation. Also in March of 2017, a man had been run over by a car thief while he was getting his tyres changed at Have A Guess Where? Rise Tyres. Again, this time I'm not saying that this had anything to do with the business or the people that work there, but it's not looking great, is it? And even in December of 2019, CCTV captured arsonists pouring petrol on some old tyres and setting fire to them out on the yard of a neighbouring unit. Now, what confuses me about all of this is that, okay, it could have been the employees or even the brothers that were arrested, but why did the shooting take place outside of one of their tyre shops? Surely, if it was anything to do with them, they wouldn't have shot up their own tyre store, so honestly, 
I don't think the three men arrested were anything to do with the shooters and maybe again because it was outside one of their shops and because they don't have the best reputation they're probably being questioned by police. And if there is any further updates to this situation as always I'll let you guys know. Which moves us on to our next story and that was if you was paying attention to my community tab post last night or well, earlier this morning then you'll know that a shooting had happened in Harrow. <laughs> So again, another shooting has taken place, this time in Rainers Lane, and thankfully no one was injured. Just before midnight on the 18th of May 2020, the same day Aya was murdered, the Metropolitan Police confirmed reports that shots were fired at a business premises in Rainers Lane, Harrow. Kebab staff shop who worked at Blazing Grill then came out yesterday to tell the tale of what happened on Monday night. Stephen Katakupan and Hannah Fael would go on to say that live rounds of ammunition now narrowly missed them but punched a hole through a revolving meat of kebab. Stephen went on to say that chicken kebab could have easily been me with the hole clean through. I was standing up serving in front when I heard shots outside. I thought it was fireworks but then three men vaulted the counter and ran to hide in our toilet. They looked terrified so I ducked down behind a wall and I heard three more very loud shots including the one which flew through the kebab. I reckon I was less than a meter from the bullet and I feel lucky to be alive. Hannah would go on to tell reporters we didn't see the gunmen until they'd run off and didn't realise how close we'd come to getting shot until we saw the CCTV. We didn't realise till after they ran away that the chicken kebab had taken the full force of one of the bullets. Blazing Grill owner Jason Daz, age 31, went on to say it was a crazy thing to do and could have easily killed my staff. Police last night said no arrest had been made so far and they took the bullet casing found on the floor and the kebab for forensic examination. So this next story is once again on the same day that Aya was taken away, a 27 year old man in Haringey was murdered on his front doorstep. At around 8.20pm, officers had been called to Wiltshire Gardens in Haringey where they found the man suffering from gunshot wounds where he would go on to be pronounced dead at the scene. It was thought that he'd open his door to two attackers who wore dark clothing and motorcycle helmets. They were then seen fleeing the scene on a moped. Detective Chief Inspector Andy Partridge said this was a cowardly attack on an innocent man who was shot dead on his own doorstep. Although at this stage of the investigation, I strongly suspect he was not the intended target of this attack, making this case all the more tragic. He went on to say it would have still been light outside when the shooting took place and I'm hoping there are people out there who saw something who we have not yet spoken to. Again, in the most recent reports, police do now firmly believe that this was a case of mistaken identity. No arrests have been made and inquiries are still ongoing. Which leads us on to our last story and that's an update in the human torso situation. As you guys know, I've been keeping you guys up to date on this situation and i'll leave the videos i've done covering this topic down in the description feel free to go check those out but to summarize quick 27 year old garisha kanita gordon had been charged with the murder of a woman who was believed to be from the lazelles area of birmingham after her and mahesh sharathia who is believed to have acted as a taxi driver were stopped by police in the forest of dean area in gloucestershire and found to be in possession of a human torso in a suitcase where mahesh then went on to be charged with assisting an offender. The victim has now been identified as 28 year old Phoenix Nett, who was originally from Croydon but had moved to Lazelles in Birmingham. Although she's been identified, West Midland police are still trying to establish where and why she was killed, although it's believed that Phoenix had lived across the road from Garisha at a woman's refuge. Another hearing did take place yesterday, but the pair didn't appear, but it does seem that Mahesh has now been granted bail, and again, no application for bail was made for Garisha and the judge also set a trial date in November of this year and as always once the trial comes up I'll walk you through the trial as the reports come out. So three shootings had taken place on Monday over the UK and two proved to be deadly but what makes this situation even worse is the fact that two people who were fatally murdered had been innocent people, one caught in the crossfire of a shooting and the other one being a mistaken identity. And again, this third shooting in the chicken shop could have seen more innocent people get hit as the testimony of what the workers were saying is that they were extremely close 
to getting hit with a bullet. But let me know what you guys think of this in the comment section below. Give the video a little like and if you want the latest Drill Street and music news out of the UK, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. It's been your boy Ape Poncho and I'm out.